Hey, Dana here from Serious Vanity on Thursday, April 28th, 2016. There's a Taoist concept called Wei Wu Wei, which means doing without doing. This has been a point of meditation and practice for me for a while now. I first became aware of it when I read a book by Martha Beck called Steering by Starlight around 2011. It's hard for someone like me, maybe someone like you, to grasp that efforting is not always the best path because I think you should be able to do a lot of stuff and that you should take care of yourself and what you need to do. I am a biggie on responsibility and accountability. And so I hold myself to a kind of insane standard. And I hold others to that standard too. They don't always live up to it. And so I have to try and practice acceptance. It's not because anything's wrong with them. Let me go ahead and clear that up, that I'm not just a huge jerk. It's not that anything's really wrong with me. It's just this concept that I have a hard time grasping, that sometimes you have to stop pushing and start allowing. And that by being open, by accepting that that which you are pursuing is in equal motion pursuing you, if it's the right thing for you. I won't go into a big law of attraction thing because not really need to. If you are vibing with that, then you already get it. And if you're not, then it doesn't matter. There are a lot of other different belief structures that also believe very strongly in allowing. Christianity, ask and ye shall receive, very strongly suggests it. And leaving things at the altar for God to handle also strongly suggests it. But this isn't like a a sermon. This isn't even really a, a spiritual kind of concept that I want to focus on. This is also within our work. You can't just block off 10,000 hours to go ahead and get those knocked out. <laughs> that's, that's not how the Malcolm Gladwell 10,000 hour thing works. It's an organic process that with life as it happens, as we are open to it, we naturally pursue those things that become our expertise, that through the passion and the love of creating, We become great creators. But it's hard when you have deadlines to think that the best possible thing that I can do is to not do. That in order to have the right mindset to tackle this thing, I have to not think about this thing. That by taking a breather, that's the best possible thing that I can do to be more effective during the time when I have the project right in front of me. That by doing this, I will actually save time. Because when we're trying too hard, when we're efforting too much, we do the wrong thing. We waste time. We become sloppy. We become tired. So today, I challenge you to not do that thing, to let it breathe, to let it go. Hope it goes well. Talk to you tomorrow.